Christmas tree I just want you for my own More than you could ever I just want you here tonight Good morning, Pasigue Valley. I'm Aaron along with Maria and Alex with today's news and announcements. We start today with an update on what is being called Bobblegate and reactions to our communication from the Bobble Napper yesterday. Let's go to the report. Day 6, Aftermath of the Bobble Napper's Transmission You steal my 12 days of Christmas, I steal your bobblehead. All we wanted to do was the 12 days of Christmas for our viewers. We wanted to bring some Christmas cheer to the school. And I think people were having a good time with the bobblehead. Obviously someone wasn't. And uh, I think everybody was really a little bit, uh, a little bit shocked by what happened. One second I'm here reading the announcements and then the next it's just gone. I barely even got a glimpse of the guy. It happened so fast. I think you could see from the footage, my eyes just kind of wander like in complete and utter shock at what just happened. You know, one minute, we were just in here doing the announcements, doing our thing, and then what I think was a man came and took the bobblehead out of nowhere. It was, I was in complete, utter shock because my eyes never left the bobblehead as it left through the doors, probably for the last time. I was, I was in the control room, and I, I thought it was going to be a really good show. You know, we were getting everything done on time, and then all of a sudden, this just this giant, what looked like a snowball just swooped in and stole our bobblehead right from under our noses and we didn't even... <laughs> I'm sorry. You give me back my 12 days of Christmas. I'll give you back your bobblehead. There will be no compromises. My reaction to the message from the bobble napper? I'll tell you something. We do not negotiate with bobble nappers. Let me say this loud and clear. We do not negotiate with bobble nappers. Let's hope Mr. R and the administration can make something happy. He was uncharacteristically pretty unhappy there. Until then, we remain Hornet strong. Hornet, Hornet strong. strong! Thanks, Alex. Back to the announcements. The annual National Art Honor Society holiday cards are still for sale in Dr. Cardillo's conference room this week. Stop by to see the beautiful cards handmade by National Art Honor Society members to support their induction ceremony. Auditions for Freaky Friday will be held Tuesday, January 9th at 5 p.m. in the auditorium. Also, there will be an audition prep class held on Thursday, December 28th. All students interested in participating in the variety show, auditions will be held on Thursday, January 11th after school in the auditorium. Come join the fun and showcase your talent on stage. All are welcome. Thursday, December 21st, there will be holiday ornament making in the Makerspace room during periods 4 through 7. Make a festive ornament and be as creative as you want. The Future Medical, Pro Medical Professionals Club will be selling tissues. You can purchase an individual pack for 50 cents in room 222 or from a club member. In related news, the Future Medical Professionals will be hosting a fundraiser this Thursday, December 21st at Imperial 46 Restaurant in Woodland Park from 5 to 9 p.m. You can either dine in or get takeout. Just remember to tell your server 20% of your check will be donated to volunteer EMT squads in Woodland Park in Totowa. Now to Alex with sports. Thanks, Aaron. In winter track, congratulations to the following individual medal winners at yesterday's season opener at FDU. Derek Pezzo placed fourth in the Novice 55 hurdles. Julio Sanchez placed fifth in the Varsity 55 hurdles. C congratulations to the team medal winners. Freshman boys placed in three events, third in 4x800 relay, and two teams placed in the 4x400 relay, taking fourth and sixth. Novice girls placed sixth in the 4x800 relay and fourth in the 4x400 relay. Two novice boys teams placed in the 4x400 relay, third and fifth. Varsity boys placed sixth in the 4x400 relay. The team earned a combined 32 total points. Great job and keep up the hard work. Nata Maria with the weather. Thanks, Alex. Sunny today with the high of 42 and the low of 26. To keep our holiday spirits up, we now present Day 10 in the 12 Days of PVTV Christmas. On the 10th day of Christmas, PVTV gave to me 10 temporary IDs, 9 PV band kids, 8 winter sports, 7 Mike's or Michael's, 6 dedicated teachers, 5 hot scripts, 4 crazy man buns, 3 PV theater shows, 2 mangled IDs, and hopefully, our Mr. September bobblehead. 
That's all for today, Pacific Valley. Have a good one.